We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an... Ice cream avalanche! Yay! That's not worse. Help. Nah, Gary won't pull them out. He's unsympathetic to their plight. Won't someone save us? No, Gary is worried it might start an avalanche if he grabs that. No. Gary doesn't like to grab things without handles. Nah, Gary won't pull them out. He's unsympathetic to their plight. Good eater! Sleepy land. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. Rise and shine. Come on, Buster. No time to waste. Chocolate rocket. Sure, what difference does it make? Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie, to System 7. throw you at the bridge man. I'm happy to volunteer for that suicide mission, sir. But I think if you just shout at the bridge... Gary can't reach that. But if I just yell at the bridge man, I think he will lower or raise the bridge. I don't know how long I can hold on to this! Gary can't reach that. But if... Okay, Spoon. Get ready. I'm going to throw you at the bridge man. I'm happy to volunteer for that suicide mission, sir. But I think if you just shout at the bridge man, he'll lower or raise that bridge. If only there were a heroic genius on the train! Wake up, bridge man! <sighs> Finally! My arms were about to pop up! Back to sleep! What are you doing? Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! Wait! What? Hmm. 
No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? Feel like grabbing some shut-eye, Gary? Gary doesn't want to grab that any more than I do. Spoon's not sleepy. I'm spit-shined and ready for action, sir. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. Nah. Gary doesn't like to grab things with weird little screws. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. It looks like an inflatable raft. Come on, Grabbin' Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> It's a tank of compressed air. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this rat. Whoa! It looks like a... blow-up... doll... of me! Creepy. No. Gary worries his sharp embrace might be lethal to little lazy me. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden.
Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came. Because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek. And what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Gary doesn't want to grab that. He dislikes the texture of synthetic. Where are we? The same place as always. The center of the universe. Really? Where this is the star chart for Talon Nebula. That is the center of our universe. Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? With pleasure. <laughs> Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav start in five, four, three, two, one. Everybody make it in one piece. Great. 